uh, what is the role of the captain in, in that in that in that position? How much coaching do you do with players during the game? I think I think the more experienced the player, the less coaching you are doing during the game. I think if if you have a newer player, so we have two divisions of corkball in, in Scotland. Um, the second division is very much a development league. It is a place where newer players essentially get an opportunity to learn the game um, or more experienced players get a chance to grow. Um, if in that scenario, if you're on, if the captain there is, an, is a slightly more experienced player, they have a lot of opportunity to coach there. And, you know, we spend a lot of time coaching and learning on the fly in that scenario. In... In the heat of a of a first division game that's really close with a rival, there's not there's not a lot of time for coaching there. And um, I think if you are coaching at that point, you weren't you know as prepared for that game as you as you would have liked to have been. Where does where does the roles of the rest of the team come into this? The the the, the vice captain, the the other senior players, more experienced players. What are their roles within the team environment? So I, I, I think it, it, it differs on a on, on a circuit on based on the circumstances. So I think I think we lots of coaches will have a coaching philosophy that will will be brilliant in some circumstances and maybe not in others. So I think I, I would like to say that I, I I'm quite confident delegating leadership and, and responsibility. And I would say that is absolutely true of training. You know, regularly at training, I would like to have, as a coach, I would like to have my captain maybe doing a little bit of coaching and a little bit of work running like certain, certain sections with certain groups of players. And I'll have other senior leadership people um, maybe running other drills and other, se- other elements of the session with the head coach kind of overlooking that. But then when it comes to games, it becomes... There, there is there is certainly less leadership kind of by like that's delegated because there is kind of less time for that I would say and um, you have less opportunity for discussion um, and those senior leaders at that time their job is to kind of implement whatever your tactics are within that game setting um, and to remain positive like pick up those players that are maybe having a bad game or or, or help them through it, do what they need to do to, to win that game. What are your thoughts on a leadership group? Is it the old school idea is that it's it's manager, coach, captain, vice captain sort of thing. One player or two players, uh, one person or two, or two people or a small group of people. How, how big a leadership group do you think there, there needs to be? I mean, you, I don't think you can have too many, too many good leaders. Like if, if you've got, you, I think you have as many as there are people that can fill that role. I think if you have a squad that is experienced where at different times, everyone has maybe been a captain or been in a leadership position and um, they all have the capability on any given day to, you know, pick up the team when they need it, to lead by example a little bit, to do the things that, to do the day work, to do the little bits and pieces that you need to win games. I think ideally you have a whole group of leaders. Realistically, maybe you have two or three apart from the captain or the coach. Um, and in court ball, that's, that's great because that's half the team um, or half the, half the people on the court at least. And I think having, having multiple players that are confident in their ability to both play their own game and to support others in whatever way they need to is it can only be a good thing. One of the how much feedback, how much input does uh, the leadership group or the captain have with the coach in, in terms of training team uh, player and team development? A certain amount, yeah. Um, I think we have a kind of coaching group. Of, we have about four. We have four coaches really at the moment that contribute regularly to training. Um, 
Cool. That would be the plan if we were training. So I, I currently am the head coach. Uh, and then we've got two more very experienced coaches and one who's a little bit less experienced, a bit newer to coaching, but they typically will contribute um, in terms of running a session a week. So one of those other three coaches will run a shorter session. We have a, a long, a two hour session and a, an hour and a half session. So one of the other coaches will run that shorter session once a week. Um, and that will be kind of within our, our kind of long-term goals. Um, so they, they certainly have an input, I think. 